you're in front of our building. That doesn't mean I'm in it. Do you I'm, have an ID with you then? Take a look at, sir. Do you have Do I have an ID? Yeah. Why would you need my ID? Because I'm trying to figure out why you're hanging around out here filming outside. And my... You ain't producing them to say who you work for. And that's not public information. Well, I'm an independent journalist. I'm okay, going around, I'm gathering... Your car. I'm gathering content for a story. Don't, I'm going to get water. Don't touch me. What's I'm not going to water. You're leaving, I can get you're water. You're leaving why? the building. Why? You're leaving the building. Why? And that's it. Why? Bottom line. Why? I'm telling you. What's up, buddy? How can I help you? Hey, buddy, do me a favor real quick. Hey, we're handling the crime scene right now, so step back over behind that business. That way I can conduct this, okay? Welcome to today's video, where intense confrontations between citizens who understand the law and law enforcement are continually brought to light. In this video, we will witness citizens confidently using their knowledge of their rights to stand up to unreasonable demands, forcing police officers to step back in embarrassment. Not only do we bring you an exciting story, but we will also expose police misconduct, raising awareness about citizens' rights and promoting accountability from the authorities. So, if you're ready, let's dive into this journey right now. Request for ID without any crime. Deputy immediately learns his lesson. I'm trying to investigate everything here. I need to know who I'm Investigate what? To. Okay. What, what, what crime do you suspect me of committing? Loitering outside of a penal facility. Do you have your ID with you that I can take a look at? In the first situation, a citizen visits the Cass County Correctional Facility in Nebraska and peacefully exercises his right to record from the sidewalk outside the facility. It's a beautiful day here, so let's see if citizens' rights are respected, or if they will continue to be violated in this situation. Get into it. Alright guys, so let's take a look around the correctional facility over here we have the no weapons beyond this point no cell phones beyond this point so this is the back side of the correctional facility here this looks like a county vehicle. County vehicles only. Let's take a look inside. Nothing really. We have a sign that says no loitering around the jail. Violators will be prosecuted at you 28 914. So we're on a public sidewalk to passing and speaking information. I don't see how it could be found constitutional that I cannot be walking around on the public sidewalk of the correctional facility here. Statute doesn't mean that it's constitutional in any way at all to be tested, some of them anyway. Howdy, sir. Hey. Kruger with Cass County Sheriff's Office. Deputy Kruger. Hey, or? Um, no, I don't need any help with anything. Okay. I was just wondering, because we saw you on our cameras, your van over there and stuff, and just- Yeah, I was just taking some pictures and video over there, yeah. Okay. All right, are you here to pick somebody up? I'm not here to pick anyone in from the jail. Okay. All right, well, if you don't have any business here, along, you can hang around at the front of the building. Hang on one second. 904. Sorry, they're talking to me. Yeah, no problem. Never. Um, but uh, as you can see, we've got these signs around talking about no loitering outside of the jail and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I read the statute. It has to do with and right. passing documents towards inmates, and I'm not doing that. I'm okay. engaged in a constitutionally protected activity. You, uh, you know, you can hang out out front and stuff. Anywhere we've got these signs posted, we would ask that you not loiter around. Loitering is standing around without a purpose. I have a purpose. Okay, but you don't have a purpose at our building. You're in front of our building. That doesn't mean I'm in it. Okay. Do you have an ID with you? Then take a look at, sir. Do you have D? Because I'm trying to figure out why you're hanging around out here filming outside. Am I now around walking around your? outside of the building that's right. what it's going to tell you why well no well, investigate what to. okay what, what what crime do you suspect me of committing loitering outside 
Nebraska Statute 28914 prohibits anyone from loitering near a correctional facility, jail, or detention area without a legitimate purpose. This citizen is exercising his legal right to record with the purpose of informing the public. He is standing on a public sidewalk, not communicating with prisoners or engaging in any exchange of items. Therefore, his actions cannot be considered loitering under this statute. Furthermore, since no crime of loitering has been committed, the deputy has no authority to ask him to leave or provide items. ID. Yeah, can I speak to a supervisor? Uh, you surely can. Give me just one second. Sure. Okay. No problem. Am I being detained? You're not detained right now. Okay, so I would like to just keep about my day if I'm not being detained for any anything. I mean, I'll wait for a supervisor if you're calling one. It's not a problem. What a supervisor. Anywhere where the signs are posted? Yeah, loiter. That you don't loiter. De okay. Deputy, I'm not loitering. I told you I have a purpose. I'm taking pictures and videos. I'm engaging in a constitutionally protected activity. You don't have any business at the building. I'm not no. inside of your building. I am out. I'm not on. This is not your property. This is. I looked up the GIS. Just. I looked up the GIS uh, survey. This is Cass County property. That means it's public property. This is not. No. The property of the jail. It's treated as private. Yes, private property. Because this is a penal facility. So that means it's private. You have to. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm just on a public sidewalk. Hey, how are you? So good. How are you? Sergeant. I'm doing well. Your name and badge number, sir. Sergeant. Yeah. Hey, Sergeant. How are you? Good. I'm just taking some pictures and video of the facility here. I'm just I'm moving along. I'm just taking some not, pictures and video. Communicating with the no, agent, that's and, and that's exactly what I told the deputy. Yeah. I looked up the statue and Kate or pass objects between um, inmates inside. And yeah. I, I, no, I'm just taking Did pictures of video. That nothing nefarious going on here, yeah. and I'm not in any restricted areas or anything like that, Sarge. Yeah. So yeah, no, no, no big deal, right? Yeah. And I don't have to give up my ID because he said I had to. You're fine. Don't okay. Worry. Okay, thanks, right. Sergeant. I appreciate you. Yeah, Deputy, great. you take care. Felt there, right? Yeah, you do. Wow, guys, this is amazing. Walking, let's walk and talk. Did you see how aggressive that deputy was? Loitering on a public sidewalk? Are you. I can't, you can't make these things up. This is a survey. Before I came here, I do my research. And I looked up. The penal code here, 229-914. No loitering around the jail with inmates. Loitering, which is you're just standing in front of a jail, not doing anything. I'm not loitering, I'm moving. This is not loitering. This is actually a constitutionally protected activity. And you see the sergeant, he knew exactly what we were doing here. Thankfully for the sergeant saved the Cass County, because I seriously think that deputy was going to arrest me. He was close to expecting me of loitering, not loitering. What's the sergeant for recognizing our constitutional right of freedom of press. It's a beautiful thing to see. I love it. He knew exactly what we were doing. He respected our and I respect him. From this situation, I believe that the limitations in understanding and the willingness to infringe on citizens' rights, as we just witnessed, are certainly not rare in practice. Fortunately, the sergeant in this case intervened in time, sparing the deputy from a serious mistake. However, I hope that in similar situations, deputies and law enforcement officers will respect citizens' rights more, because only then will the rights of the people be properly protected. Um, bank employees often overreact when filmed from a public side. Sidewalk. You told me you're doing a survey. I am. I said, but show me your survey card. I'm coming to work for you. I'm, you for I ain't got to show you a card, What's sir. <laughs> and you say, where's your ball at? Well, that's, where it's coming. You, that's not your business. Right. Right. Missouri has no law prohibiting filming in public spaces as long as it does not invade anyone's privacy. For example, not filming through windows of homes or private areas. So if you're filming everything visible, including the bank, from a public sidewalk without bothering anyone, everything is fine. You're not doing anything illegal and you don't have to stop filming just because someone is uncomfortable with it. Can I help you? How you doing? Okay. You say who? That's the guy helping. Yeah, you got a bottle of water and a sucker. And a sucker? No. Ah. Uh, no. Yeah. I work. I'm, I'm the maintenance guy. Oh, okay. Just shooting the video. Usually we don't see people doing that here. Shooting videos? Yeah. It's 2024. Not at a, at a local bank, no. Oh. Uh. <laughs>
Don't say I'm probably shooting video from banks. Oh, uh, yeah. Beyond it, don't do. Yeah, is, it, close anyway. is there anything good you'd like to say about your establishment? Me, myself, I just work. Okay. I just want to see if I can help you. Maybe you can help me. I was. Girl said, he's not even filming. Well, can't help you. Well, I'm not going to say nothing. Yeah. Because I'm not going to say nothing. About the vault? No, that's not your business if it's counter control. You wouldn't be able to tell me like if it's climate no. control, like what size are the vents? No. Okay. You that, said that's something that you, you don't get rest like that happens when you work at a bank thing. That's just no. Located. Where what town are you in? No, where is the vault located? That's not your business again. People do. Why not? I really don't get it. That's basic information. No, that's that's not that's not public information. Thanks. Okay. I'm just telling you, dude, you have to turn this off the wall. I, I, it's just, these are just survey, survey. I, I tell you what, send that survey in the mail. We'll answer it in the mail. Okay, you have a business card? No, we have an address. Bro, and I know we have the information that's it's not public information. I do agree with. Okay. So, <laughs> hey, 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 you, hey, I'm, a, I'm with you on that one, man. They wonder who you are. Yeah, I'm okay. What's their name? What's her name right there? I'm Dale. No, her right there, Dale. The uh, Ashley. Ashley, and what about the other one? What do you mean the other one? Yeah, those are towers. I'm not giving everybody's name in this bank. That don't happen, dude. Why not? You won't tell us. You ain't give us a car, but you said you're doing something. Give me your car. Yeah, I'm just doing a survey, man. Well, get, get if you're doing a survey. Come on, Dale. Oh, uh, that's just the way it is, dude. I thought we cool, bro. Well, the cool ain't got nothing. This is my this is my livelihood, my job. Or you ain't nothing just being a pain in the patootie filming our business. We want to know why. Yeah, yeah, just a, a survey don't mean she don't have a car, a business card saying they're doing a survey or who they work for. You ain't produced that yet. Well, I'm, I mean, so, I'm, so you're, you're not the film where I work at. Anybody right here tell you the same damn thing. If they don't, they stupid. Don't be long. I'm sorry if I rattled star no, or anything. You me when you say you work for a survey, but you don't have a car, you should have a car if you work. For I'm taking a survey, so you got to report to somebody. I ain't yeah. stupid. Yeah, I'm independent. You're independent. You still got to have a car. How dumb are you? Mm. Put that on your video. It's gonna be on there. Good. <laughs> you ain't producing nothing to say who you work for. And that's not public information. Well, I'm an independent journalist. I'm okay, going around, I'm gathering. Your car. I just didn't bring it. I said I'm sorry. Well, that's your fault then. I can't trust you. Okay. Next time I have my car. Okay. Go get it. Okay. I'll stay and wait for you. I'm parked. I'm way I on the I, don't wait. I gotta I'm walk. Car. It's gonna be a minute, man. I come back. Here, see this? This is that. It's also on my chest. That means I work here. Can you scoot to the side real quick? Like, I ask you. anywhere. Show me your car. And tell that you don't mean nothing. Just scoot to the side for no. me. No. That ain't how it works. Okay, you dismissed. What? You dismissed. I miss what? Dismissed. Get signed. You, you get dismissed going down the street. Sorry, I, I wasn't bothering no, nobody. No, no, no. You, you asked me. A car. I, I'm, you haven't produced nothing but to you. Sure you can. No, you can't. Sure you can. No. No. Sorry. Be long, Dale. Again, you haven't really shown nothing. The real reason why you... To record. I'm just here to record. I said, but well, how come you're not recording the other business? Why do you just pick out a bank? I don't see... That makes any sense. Here, maybe you why can... Why didn't you film this tire shop across the street? How you know I didn't already... So there he told me. That's why I came out here. I wouldn't stand out here for no 20 minutes. It's okay. I know that people exaggerate. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we, everybody can play that game. Yeah. I mean, I've just been recording, though, so it's on yeah. camera. Somewhere. Yeah, right we do there. have cameras. Yeah. Right. All right, Dale. We're going to see how long you actually been out here. Yeah, everything cool, Dale, man. Yeah, we good people, you. man. We're going to get big boy out here. You ain't listening to me. All right. You can I come in with you? Nope. Since we, all, we, we just talked. You, use your car to come in here. Here come Dale, you guys. Walk all the way back over here. Okay, stay there. Do I have your authorization to record you, Dale? Nope. We got you. you didn't ask me for my authorization, Dale. I thought everything was all cool. So Dale was. Hey Dale, what you gonna do with that? that yeah, what you gonna do with that video? You guys, so we gotta take a picture. 
You sound fine. I really appreciate the attitude of the two officers from the Bonner Springs Police Department in this situation, as they did not interfere with the citizen exercising his legal right. It seems they understood that their duty is to respect and protect citizens' legitimate rights, rather than engaging in wrongful actions like some officers who abuse their power. What? What did you <laughs> I love you, man. Was... Hey. <laughs> I appreciate he asked me did I find the vote. Hey, what's your name, brother? John. Love you, mom. Yes, yes. Yes. You yes. didn't want to come talk. <laughs> Kansas City accountability. Integrity. Respect. Hello and professionalism. How's it going? 577, I like that. Thank you. Yeah. I never seen that? nobody, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. It's well, a beautiful tomorrow. Yeah. Did you see that? It's That's driving good. down to the 60s. Yeah. So I'm like, let me kind of get one of these last couple of days of her. Did, did they really call you? Yeah, they did. What's and, going on today? And what did they say? They're just wanting to see what's going on. Because... Shooting a video, I had no intent on going in or on their property. Okay. I let them know I'm just, Stand on the sidewalk. You guys, the city hall. City hall is just, you go down this street right here. It's third street, you go over one block and it's right there in the corner of Cedar and third. Yeah, maybe it was something he couldn't help me with. Um, what was 550 divided by two? I guess it'd be 220 or two, what, 250? I think about this one. Uh, huh? 550 divided by two. I'd have to do some math on that. And on the spot, I'm not very good with that. But Can you hit, what, what, roughly? <laughs> it'd be rough. Badge number. Rightstrom 1602. All righty. Can you do a for favor for me? I'm inside their bank now when I get your body cam footage. So, what the, kind of video are you making today? This, so what's interesting to me is uh, they didn't like me recording, but they called more men with cameras. Yeah. So uh, now and I have inside their bank. Okay. Not that smart, you know. <laughs> and Dale, this is who I spoke with. I mean, you, you said that you were taking no, he been out here. He ain't got team to get in to make it fun. Awesome. Positive video. But he, yeah. When you show me your surveying card. Look at work for you. Can't produce. I ain't got to show you a card, What's sir. <laughs> and you say, where's your ball at? Well, that's where it's coming. Why isn't it? It's not in your business where our ball's at. What if I got a large amount of money? And I want to deposit it here. Fine. Okay. Okay. Make your business yeah, look good. I'm just kind of curious about your work, though. I mean, what? You, where, you, where your card at on you? I can give you a business card. You got an AR cartridge on you? I sure do. Wow. That anywhere. Okay, you're right. Do you have an email on here? I sure do. I'll email. Uh, I've been doing the job for a little over 30 years. 30 years? Okay. Are you a... Yeah, all right. Well, hey, nice meeting you, buddy. Hey, nice meeting you, too, for nice real. I, I, I never gave it. I, I'm gonna email it to you when I email you. I'm gonna email you everything. You're gonna get to see it. I like that. And you stood by it too. Right. Man, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have made that comment. <laughs> go in. Oh, yeah. Where do you go in? Oh, go in there. Inside their bank? Yeah, I've been there too many times. Do, do you have a call? You got a call number for this or incident or report number for it? Cab number for me? Uh, something we was having issues with over here. Not really issues. We need help with is, uh, and you buy two. We'll put you on the spot now. 555 by 2, 225. Okay. That'd be uh, 500. Oh, uh, no, that'd be no, 250 by 2. Yeah, it was, so 550, that's. You want me to get my calculator out? Okay, sure okay. How, let's say we all are in a race. We're in exotic cars, right? And we're in a race. <laughs> and I'm in second place. What place are you in? Second place. Okay. Give me some. 275. Can you uh, <laughs> You got me on that You like fruit? fruit? What's your favorite fruit? Ooh. Mango. Let's say it's like a hundred mangoes in a bucket. Mm -hmm. You take out thirty. How many mangoes do you have? I have some. So this the number on this is two zero two zero six. I got it. Yeah, I think so. All right. Yes, sir. Well, stay, stay safe out there. Yes, yes. Have a good day. Yes, you have a good day as well. In his uh, establishment look good. All right, thank you. Kansas City. So we definitely going to wait for these uh, gentlemen to pull off.
In the end, things worked out well in this situation. The bank employee initially showed disrespect towards the citizen, but I believe he will learn from this incident. As for the citizen, all of his actions were completely justified. In fact, in the middle of the video, he even received support from bystanders, showing community support for the protection of legal rights. Officer Martin shows hostility towards the citizen rather than respecting the role they are trained to fulfill. Nope. You're an officer. Yep. Can I please speak to your sergeant? No. Nope. Have your sergeant come over nope. here. Absolutely not. Nope. Why? I'm telling you, you can go to the station and talk to him. I'm not getting one done here. Why? Because I'm telling you. On February 9th, 2024, an incident of civil rights violation occurred again at the New Hampshire Town Hall. Specifically, this citizen was attending a public meeting inside the building. Everything went smoothly until a male employee of the facility came and asked this citizen to leave, claiming that this was a meeting for staff only. What happens next? Let's find out. All right, so again, was that on the calendar? You just said it was on the calendar. It's not on the calendar now, is it? It's not on that. It'll be on the staff's calendar. Okay. So can you please direct me to the staff? I will go with you. I don't have to do that. Yes, you do. Hi. 91A. Upstairs. Let's go to the staff. Hi. Thanks. How's that? Can you just show me? I will go with you. I'm not going in there. Let's go. Let's go. Where's the staff calendar? Let's go downstairs. Where's the staff calendar? Where can I see? Many places. Okay, so where can I... I have... You're saying that you have the staff calendar. 91A says that I can have the staff's calendar. You can file the right to know. Is it business hours? Between business hours right now, 91A. Where's the ombudsman? Is the ombudsman in this office? So the ombudsman handles the 91A request if the city is negligent. I'm asking for a staff exist a staff calendar, right? So that I can see that it's on this. You're telling me that I'm not supposed to be here for no reason. Hello. So can you show me where the staff calendar is? Please. Looking at the male employee's evasive attitude, I suspect there wasn't actually a staff-only meeting as they claimed. It seems they just didn't want the citizen to attend this public meeting. But the question is why? You know, why would they want to limit the citizen's right to participate in public services that the law allows? <laughs> How's it going? This gentleman won't let me in there and he won't tell me why he won't let me in. Right. It's so you don't need an audio and video recording? Yep, you are too. Yeah, that's A hundred times. This is a private class. You're not registered for the class, you're not part of the class, you were in the class. I explained to you that it is a private class, I closed the doors and removed you. But you're not explaining to me who told me to, who told me to get out of there. Part of the class. Officer, I simply asked that he tells me where the uh, information is. I know, but I, this is public. Then we'll talk to land. it outside. Hey! Oh, I don't have my glasses. I'm sorry. Uh, listen. No, uh, listen. Let's go outside. I don't have to go outside. Yeah, you do. For why? They want you to leave. I don't have to. Why? Yeah, you do. For why? I'm telling you, they don't want you here. Are you? you okay, am I, am I, did you? Uh, they don't want you in here. Okay. So you can leave and come back another day. But right now, you have to leave. Okay. You've conducted. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get a 91A request and ask you where the ombudsman is or where I can find out where the calendar is that you said that, yes, you do. No, Artic doesn't. Article 8 of the New Hampshire Constitution. Uh, 91A. 91A, right, of business hours have access to any paperwork. No, right now, no, so you have to leave, so. I don't have to, we're, please we're do not gonna, touch me. We're gonna leave. Please we're do not touch leave. me. leave. Am I under arrest? No, but you will be if you don't leave, so let's okay. go. New Hampshire's RSA 91A allows citizens to access public documents from the government. Up until this point, every action the citizen took was completely legal under this statute. However, for some unknown reason, Officer Martin used force and physically pushed the citizen to leave. After witnessing many similar situations, I believe this is one of the worst behaviors I've seen from law enforcement. Listen, we're gonna talk outside. Mr. Martin and Mrs. Martin, now what's going on here? Put your hands on me. I sure did. What? I yeah. Sure did. You did. Why? They said I've done no crime. Leave me alone, guys. 
file out a complaint. What crime did I commit? What crime did I commit? Is this that a lawful order? Am I yes, arrest? lawful yeah. order. I know, but I don't have to. Yes, you do. Why? Because I'm telling you. What is the statute? What is the statute? I came here for business. Crime that if I don't follow your unlawful order? I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to get by the police. I answer no questions. I'm going to get water. No, come on. Got it. Come on. Don't touch me. You're not getting water. You're I can get water. You're leaving Why? the building. Why? You're leaving the building. Why? And that's it. Why? Bottom line. Why? I'm telling you, let's go leave the building. Please do not touch me. You guys are assholes. Thank you. Who's the sergeant? Who's the who's the highest ranking officer here? Me. What are you? Are you, nope. You're an officer. Yep. Can I please speak to your sergeant? No. Have your sergeant come out nope. here. Absolutely not. Nope. Why? I'm not getting one done here. Why? Because I'm telling you, very simple. Okay. So why am I not here? Why am I not, I not allowed you're done here? Talking. You're done. You conducted so this your is business. A, this is the public. You're no, I haven't. Then we're I done. would like to get no, the information for the calendar during business hours. Sure. You're fucked. As you can see, the situation didn't end well when Officer Martin let his misconception of power override his respect for citizens' rights. More than anyone else, I hope the citizen in this situation will file a complaint to help police realize the importance of protecting citizens' rights and ensure that all their actions are accurate and comply with the law. Police want you to give up your rights for their safety while performing their duties. When I specify you, you want this me to is a location where I want you to stand, that way I can feel safe doing my job. You have to abide by that, so I want you on the corner. Do you understand? That's what my supervisor I can get him for you. Yeah, go ahead, call him. The First Amendment protects citizens' right to film in public, including recording police activity while they are on duty. Therefore, it's unreasonable for Officer Berkey in this situation to ask the citizen to step back while filming due to concerns about their safety. Looking at the people sitting in the back, they are even closer to where the police are performing their duties. But it seems the police are only concerned about those who start recording them. What's up, buddy? How can I help you? Hey buddy, do me a favor real quick. Step back over behind that business, that way I can conduct this, okay? What's your name and badge number, please? Yeah, 3792 Berkey. Berkey, hey, 3792? Yes, please stand behind that building that we... Go ahead, I'm late, I'm not... Sir, I said stand behind that building so I can conduct my investigation. What? Which building? Go stand over there, please, thank you. Call your sergeant. What's your name? Buddy, I'm giving you a direct order. Go stand on that corner, that way we can do our work. You know I have a First Amendment right, is that yeah, correct? Yeah, stand by that corner so we can do our work here. I'm requesting a sergeant. All right, buddy. What's your name? You got part of something, sergeant. Do you have uh... they're, they're discussing something with their body cams officer on the left. Wouldn't mind arresting me. And the other cop on the right, they're letting him know just, all right. Just let him be. Huh? <laughs> Look at this. Hey, right Are you gonna violate my rights today? I'm not violating your rights. All right. Okay. What hospital did you go to? If we go. Look, sure. look how far away I am. And I told you to get behind the building. Do you want to talk to my Be, supervisor? Behind the corner. The corner. Look at the corner. The corner. Exactly. Location where I want you to stand. That way I can feel safe doing my job. You have to abide by that. So I want you on the corner. Do you understand? That's what my super. Because yes I, no? I feel. Yes, I do. Because yes. I feel like you're going to violate my rights. Oh, you feel. Now we're feeling. Okay, cool. Hey. I feel uh, your energy. In the meantime, hey, stand that corner for me. Okay, buddy? The corner? Yeah. Right over there. That corner. Okay. That that's, vi that's violating my rights right there. You're not respecting the First Amendment. He's saying negative. Negative. What they were doing. Well, poor guy. Hopefully, he gets better.
poor now. Poor guy. But um, back to the violators. You must be new or something. Respect the First Amendment from now on. The, the Constitution. You definitely don't. That's a positive. I know you don't respect the Constitution. Code 4 or what? Code 4? He said he hasn't seen me around. Hey, what's up, officer? Can I get your name and badge number, please? Yeah, brother. I'm Gaustian. 3789? Gostian. 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 All right. Gostian. Hey, why do you why are you letting your partner act a fool like that? About the respecting the First Amendment. Oh, he is. He's just, you know. But why are you just letting him babble away as well? Let me know when, you, when I can talk. All right, go for it. He cares about the patient, so that's why he told you to step away. Clearly, you wouldn't want somebody recording. That's all, bro. Or else you can record me and him all you want. I don't care. I'm sure he doesn't care that we don't want people to record it and put it on the news. That's it. But you can record all you want, bro. All right. You don't mind. Further away from other people, right oh. at, at the corner. I said stand on the corner. That in the corner. Not, in, our, in our space where we're working, okay, we're trying to get in the hospital. Look how far away you wanted me to go. Further away from others. It was just a camera, right? It was just a camera. That's what you did. You're the one that escalated it. I believe the supervisor could have handled this situation better if he had shown more concern and implemented retraining for the officers. Officer Berkey was clearly wrong in his improper approach towards the citizen from the start. However, it seems the supervisor wasn't very concerned about this issue. This is an inappropriate image as those assigned to protect citizens often show little respect for our legitimate rights. Let's see how this goes. Hi. Hey, what's up, man? That's for a sergeant. Hey, well, you said you said a supervisor, buddy. Well, I'm gonna be able to. What do you need? Uh, can I get your name and badge number, please? Speakman, badge number three three six zero. B Speakman. All right, cool, man. The problem is, uh, I don't know what he told you, but this is where I was standing, curb. Okay. And I was a well distance away from what they were doing. Hey, I was hey, not hey, interfering, hey. To t or he did tell you, but. I wasn't interfering and he was about to violate my First Amendment right, my civil rights as well. Okay. And uh, I hope you speak to both of them because not even the other officer. Okay, so I hope you train him, a uh, train both of them a lot better on the First Amendment and on the Constitution. Uh, is there anything else that I can help you with? Can you promise that to the taxpayers? Because these guys are a liability. These guys are a liability to the city. Yeah, yeah, you look at him. He doesn't he, look at he's not he doesn't care. Is there anything else, sir? Look at him. He doesn't care. Okay. Yes, okay, no. Alright man, he's a liability, I'm telling you. That's why I wanted a sergeant. Cause I know you wouldn't care. Have some more respect from now on. You're a liability, man. I'll see you more around. I will do. Have a good night. Man, that's terrible. It's terrible. It should be a shame of these guys. Through this situation, you also see that civil rights are not always properly respected. So each of us needs to understand our rights and be ready to stand up for them when necessary. Whenever you feel your rights are being violated or hindered by law enforcement, stay calm, firmly demand respect, and document the incident to protect yourself. Another situation, police do not want to be filmed in public. 
I don't appreciate when we're dealing with something that's a serious situation when you're just sitting filming us. I don't appreciate You don't like First Amendment. I'm just letting you know. Most police officers often show discomfort when filmed in public. However, as mentioned before, by law, you have the right to film them while they perform their public duties. So if you're asked to stop filming or receive unreasonable orders, feel free to use your rights to protect yourself. Great, how are you? What's, what's going on? What's the problem? No problem. Huh? There's no problem. There's no problem. You just go around listening to the radio and wrong or what? No. Okay. What are you doing? Okay. What's your name? I'm not going to answer any questions without my attorney present. Well, this is, uh, your pri this is private property. Am I trespassing? Yeah, on private property, yeah. yeah. Am I trespassing? This is private property. Am I trespassing? Answer sure my question. Huh? You're not answering my question. If you're on private property without the owner's, huh? That's not true. Without the owner's permission on private property? Correct. Okay. Well, you're trespassing here. Really? What is trespassing? Huh? What is I'm trespassing? I'm just letting you know, man, that it's a serious situation when you're just sitting filming us. I don't appreciate You don't like First Amendment. I'm just letting you know. I'm telling you. Am I free to go? I'm, you're, you're absolutely free to go. Very but good. What I'm telling you is, is I don't appreciate it. Well, no, and it okay. sounds like you're kind of angry yourself? with me. Have you ever put your Sounds life? like you're kind of angry with me. I'm telling you, have you ever put your life Why on the line? Why are you so angry? I don't have to. Have a good day, sir. But what I'm telling you is, is that we're putting our life on the line. Why we're do you come up to me the wrong, like we're trespassing? Dealing, okay, we're dealing with... Why am I trespassing? We're dealing with a Answer situation. my question. But you're willing to ask them. We're dealing with a serious situation. And then What's that got to do us? with the First Amendment? I'm I'm, I'm across the, the street. I don't know what you're doing, especially what's been going on lately. When you come up to me with this command authority like this... How is this... Yeah, but you're threatening me with trespass. I'm just letting you know, but I did. I you're put, doing you more in, than that. Are you in, How do are I you know if I'm free to go? If I you're just come up, told you you're free to go. Did I, I, I had to ask. Huh? I had to ask. Okay. You're free to go. A lot of people aren't. Have a good day. They think that they're under your thumb. Have a good day. Thank you. See, that was completely unnecessary to have an adversarial con.
this situation, once again, I want to emphasize that the police's actions in asking citizens to stop filming in public are wrong. So the lesson here is always understand your rights and don't hesitate to use them to protect yourself, especially in situations where there's an indication of abuse of power or lack of transparency. And that's all for today's video. These stories are not only lessons about civil rights, but also powerful reminders about the strength of knowledge and courage. In your opinion, what is the most important thing to protect your rights? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this content useful, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Together, we will spread awareness and drive positive change. Once again, thank you, and we'll see you in the next video.